What's up? This is Rap Hits. And so look, FYBJ man, he just, the other day he had said that this dude named Tay Savage had bodied someone. They said this girl named Blazing Doll, I think she's a rapper out of Chicago or something. He said Tay Savage bodied her mom, Blazing Doll's mom. So th this was on a Say Cheese interview. I'm going to leave the link in the comment section in the description box because there's also another video that came out a couple days ago where it was on the same uh, Say Cheese platform where FYBJ Man has said that he had you know, he, he basically said he blasted at Tay Savage when they was in Chicago and hit him in the nose. So I'm not talking about hitting him in the nose with a fist. I'm talking about he blasted at him. You know, I'm, I'm, I can't say certain words, but that's what he's saying. He basically bucked at his nose, you know, and, and, and it's weird because it doesn't look like nothing wrong with his nose, this Tay Savage dude. But that's what. Uh, FYBJ man is saying so he's on the internet trying to get his clout points up this guy's been known to be a clout chaser I mean he, he's been doing a lot of wild stuff and you know but the dude say cheese what's his name Sean yeah Sean Cotton or something basically he had asked him like do you think that's telling he didn't say the word telling, but you know what I'm saying. The same thing, like they're trying to put that label on Gunna and um, Six Nine. They don't like you to say the actual word associated with telling. So let's just say telling. But anyways, FYBJ man said, "Isn't this telling?" And then, um, so so when Say Cheese asked J Man that, J Man said, "Yeah." He said, "Yeah." He admitted that, "Yeah, this is telling." The story behind the whole thing is that basically it looks like Tay Savage had already went through the legal system for the incident, accusing him of buying Blazing Dow's mom. So basically he was already on trial for that. So it's like a lot like King Vaughn, where King Vaughn had beat the body. You know, he beat he went through trial and he was found not guilty, I guess, by not enough evidence. They probably didn't have enough evidence because Jay Man is insisting that Tay Savage did it. And that's wild that he's saying that on the internet like that. But, you know, I think Jay Man feels safe because he, you know, he, he moved across the country. But this Tay Savage dude seems like he's something else. Like, a lot of people are comparing him to King Vaughn. He just came home after beating, you know, going through the legal system and beating a body it might have been a couple but i know at least one and he's, he has a reputation of being a straight savage so this dude i mean a, a lot of people are waiting for tay savage to release some music and so hopefully he puts out some good music i mean we want to see some high quality stuff i know king von's first couple videos weren't all that high quality but then he took off from there if a big name gets behind him, that would be even more, you know, status for him. But I doubt Dirk's going to be picking up any more artists that are reckless like that again because, you know, he he learned his lesson from King Vaughn. When he signed King Vaughn, King Vaughn got them in a jam right away in Atlanta, you know, and that he was fighting them charges. Dirk and Vaughn was fighting them charges for a long time, for years. That was over his head. So I don't think that little Dirk's going to make that decision again to sign a reckless artist like that. That's going to be in a circle and, you know, is real reckless like that because, you know, that Dirk went through a lot after he signed King Vaughn. Now, it put his it put Dirk's status up, but I don't think he's looking forward to having to ever have to be in that situation again. And the only way to stop being in situations like that is to not put yourself around reckless individuals and be that close to them so i think he knows better now so tay savage probably you know i don't know who would sign him that would put him on the level he he could probably get at but it sounds like he's ready to get into this rapping thing and a lot of people are anticipating his music you know his, his first 
video. They want to see what he can do and how he spit and everything. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what he, you know, what this Tay Savage can do. So maybe he should just should just be independent, you know. Maybe he should just put the stuff out himself. But hopefully he gets some good video directors behind him or something. Because at least with a good video director, you know, it'll look like he's on. There's a lot of good video directors in, in Chicago and that, you know, that he could probably work with that would help him get a better look. Because I really don't see who would possibly sign this dude. But as far as Tay Savage, I mean, look, it looks like he got beef with J-Man. Now, I'm not sure exactly who Tay Savage is running with. It sounds like he's running with the BDs from what I've been seeing. I'm just I'm just not completely sure on that. It sounds like he's running in the same circles as, like, a lot of the popular BDs almost. It sounds like he, he be hanging with Little Reese and... I don't know though. I could be wrong. He could be on the other side. He could be with the um you know with the uh with the ops or you know they ops. It would be actually like duck side and all them. I don't know what side he's on. So let me know what side is Tay Savage on. I'm going to let y'all know when I figure out more information about this dude. This dude came out of nowhere. So a lot of people, you know, didn't really know about him. I guess he had a name in the streets like King Vaughn did, but as far as J-Man, I mean, that's crazy how he's just telling all his business out there like that and insisting that he did that, you know, he, like he, like he, uh, they can't retry him though. That's the only thing. So even though J-Man said he told, they can't re retry him for that. That'd be double jeopardy. So he got found innocent and that's what it is. So, so it hit different, like with J-Man saying that, knowing that. He can't go back and get arrested for that now. And and J Man saying that ain't enough evidence anyways for them to go back even if they could. Just cause he's just cause J Man said that, you know, but now we know what the streets know. We know that the streets are saying that um he did that. That's what the streets are saying. That Tay Savage actually did that. Also, the streets were saying that J Man actually, you know, blasted at Tay Savage in Chicago. That's what the word in the street is. Is that J Man actually did that? They thought he was gone. Now I'm trying to figure out how this dude got a nose still. If J Man really blasted at him and it hit him in the nose, how does this dude got a nose still? That's weird, yo. Anyways, look, I'm gonna leave some links. Like I said, check the description box. I'm gonna have some party lights for y'all too. Um, if we get over a thousand likes otherwise i'll leave a link if you want to purchase one for yourself i'm also going to leave links for other stuff so uh, make sure you like and subscribe and all that i'm out of here